Former Dodger Adrian Gonzalez loves wine. Who doesn't, right? And in his post-baseball career, he's got a new YouTube show based around it. Gonzalez teams up with sommelier Chris Howell to try different wines with different foods. Stuff you'd never even think of, from oysters to Oreos. Here's Arjel Painter Lopez, who took in a recent taping of Pears Perfect with Gonzalez at the Blue Plate Oysterette in Santa Monica. Boys in Blue, sponsored by Caposio Buick GMC. What's your go-to bottle of wine? If you're just having a dinner at home and, and you gotta have a bottle, what's the go-to? I mean, a good Bordeaux is always a great a great bottle to go with. Uh, if, you know, honestly, if I'm just drinking wine by itself, my go-to is like a Sancerre, like a, you know, like a white uh, French varietal. So when you were uh, playing baseball and on charter flights, did you and your teammates used to share a bottle of wine and talk about wine? Did that help you develop your palate? When I got to the Padres in 2006, we had a very large group of wine drinkers and wine connoisseurs. Okay. Uh, Dave Roberts is one of them. He's got his own wine, uh, Red Stitch. Yep. As you get older, you go from, from beer to wine and you make that transition. So um, I started learning from them and by hanging out with them, I learned a lot about uh, wine from them. Who's your favorite uh, former Dodger to have wine with? Um, I would have to definitely say Dave Roberts. You know, we're really good friends and uh, it's always nice to share a bottle of wine with him. I love it. I wouldn't say it enhances, I would say it more mirrors. It meets it. It meets it. Pairs Perfect, uh, the YouTube show that you're doing now, a kind of a fun post-baseball uh, thing. You're thoughts on how you guys decided to start doing this. You always have your traditional pairings that you can think of, steak and red wine, fish and white wine, that, you know, it's like, oh, that's easy. Well, what red wine goes with fish and what white wine can go with steak and what else is there out there in the world that you can go get? Uh, we try to stay with, with wines that are in a counter near you, you know, at Ralph's, at, at Trader Joe's is a place that we love to go to. It's always fun to find that perfect pairing that was unexpected and then you go into it and be like, wow, that was, that, that ended up being really good. And even Chris sometimes comes out uh, very surprised. Adrian is kind of a contrarian when it comes to things. He likes to intentionally put things that, uh, like us as the masses would generally not put together. And every now and then we come to these epiphanies of, you know what, that's actually not that bad. And then we build upon that and try to find unique pairings that are off the beaten path. Our channel has evolved into like, there's some sports things because of, of my background in sports. And so like we do some challenges where to see where Chris is at in his uh, sports, uh, you know, abilities. And, uh, and then we, we, we have fun and we try, we go to different restaurants and we go to different places. Bordeaux and a grilled steak work really well together. Yes, they do. But there's a lot of other things that work really well together, both with Bordeaux and with steak that people aren't using very often. And that's the message that we're trying to get across. I always ask people who know a lot about wine, what's the best wine to pair with tacos? To me, a taco is, I'm from Tijuana, so Tijuana is a very uh, specific way of making tacos, which is just onion, cilantro, uh, guacamole, salsa, and, and your carne asada. To me, something like that would go with like a really good, like uh, a blend, uh, something like a Bordeaux-style blend that is not too much, too, too strong of a cab, but it's not too light uh, for like a pinot. You guys have really done a lot of interesting, some people might say crazy or unique pairings. What's your favorite one that you thought was gonna not be good at all and turned out to be something pretty cool? The Oreo bomb. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the Oreo <laughs> bomb. Oreo bomb. $165 wine. <laughs> Cheers. Never been done before, ever. That was uh, completely out of nowhere. Uh, had not tried it before, it was on the spot and uh, it ended up being really good. We've actually shared it with a couple chefs. Okay. And they're like, this could be a dessert. This could be a dessert in a restaurant. You know, we just try to find different things and uh, the best thing is that, you know, we're having fun doing it and, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's fun and it's unique. I guess our invites got lost in the mail. Are we for doing the Oreo bombs tonight? Uh, maybe. That's how we celebrate a great show. <laughs> Oreo <laughs> bombs. I don't know. <laughs> gotta try it.